Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of today's class is computer viruses. This topic is given in chapter 8, data protection and security. What is a computer virus? A computer virus is a software which can replicate itself and hide itself in other programs. It, ha it is made to uh, harm users program or users data. The main uh, ability or main feature of any computer virus is that, that it can copy itself and it can hide itself. What is what a virus can do? Virus can do so many things. Some of the examples are it can display funny and teasing messages on your desktop. For example, if you are working and uh, doing some work, it can display any message on your screen. It may be a funny message, it may be a teasing message, or it may be anything. Second, it can destroy your data. Many times it happens that when you open your Microsoft Word files, you see some language which is unreadable for you. Means uh, your data has been corrupted. Actually this happens because of the virus. So this is also one of the tasks which a virus can do that it can destroy your data. Some of the viruses are more harmful. They can even format your hard disk. You know that when the hard disk or floppy disk is formatted, all the data on the hard disk or floppy disk is erased. And sometimes it happens that the viruses are, the virus on your computer is very quiet. Uh, it doesn't show any message. It does not harm your files or data. What it does, it just keep on replicating itself. So what happens? Uh, it occupies a lot of space on your hard disk as well as in your RAM because you know that when all the data on your hard disk is infected with viruses, then the same file when it goes to RAM then obviously the file will occupy more space than a normal file which is not infected with the virus. Now let's watch a movie on how viruses work. Now let's see some types of viruses. There are so many types of viruses. In your book, two types of viruses have been given. One is Trojan horses and second one is worm. Trojan type of virus is more dangerous to the data your computer has as compared to worms. Let's see them one by one. Okay, Trojan house. Uh, basically, this kind of virus was made to hack computers. You know that hacking means illegal access to some other's data, some other's computer. So it can also be called a kind of spyware. You know that what a spyware is, a spy means uh, a detective, somebody who gives, who's try to find some information, secret information and uh, transferred to somewhere else. Similarly, this was a kind of program which was made to hack computer, uh, to hack information of others' computer. But what it can do, it can also delete your files, right? It can waste your memory as I have told you before that it can replicate itself, right? And if all the files on your computer are infected, and when they go in computer RAM, then obviously it will occupy more space as compared to the normal file, which is not infected. Uh, and obviously when um, 
all the space on your hard disk and in your RAM are occupied, then your computer will become unstable or in simple words, your computer will hang. What is a worm? Worm is also similar to viruses. It can replicate itself, but it is, it seems sometimes less harmful as compared to Trojan. Why? Because normally it does not delete data. What it does, it normally uh, steals a computer information and transfer it to some other person. It doesn't hide itself in other programs because normally they come in form of some program. For example, if you get some attachment uh, through your email and your attachment has some unknown program and you run it by mistake or intentionally just to check it out what it is and you install it on your computer then obviously it will um, steal data from your computer and it will send it to some other computer on the net and normally it does not destroy data on your computer. Now let's see some sources of viruses means from where the virus may come. There are so many sources uh, if we avoid uh, those things then we can save our computer from viruses and we can save our data because sometimes data is very very important. Maybe on your computer data is not that important because um, uh, normally we have letters personal things but they are less important for us as compared to uh, data in business where the data of uh, thousands of customers ha have been kept so uh, if we avoid um, these points which i'm going to tell you and uh, we take some precautions we can save our computer from viruses. What are those sources? Let's see one by one. Any portable storage may be the source of virus. Portable storage means um, it may be floppy disk, it may be a USB stick, it may be a CD-ROM compact disk read only memory, it may be a DVD-ROM it may be a Blu-ray. Blu-ray it's a kind of uh, it is a new kind of laser disc similar to a CD or DVD but it can uh, store far more data as compared to DVD or CD. So these are portable storage storages. Why these are portable? Because obviously you can store data and you can carry them anywhere you can keep them in your pocket and you can carry them anywhere that's why they are called portable then internet websites sometimes you just you are just browsing you for having some fun you go to any website which is not reliable for you first time you have visited but these kinds of websites may have some viruses right um, when you download, when you uh, write any name of any website, then obviously that is downloaded on your computer. When the website is downloaded on your computer, they bring some extra files as well. They are called cookies. C double O K I E S cookies. These are the small files which may have some harmful data for you. They may have spyware they may have uh, viruses right so try to avoid those websites which are unknown for you which are not reliable for you similarly email attachments nowadays everybody is having an email account you know that one of the biggest advantages of 
computer is um, email. Through email, you can send your messages and data from one computer to other computer within GIFs, within seconds. Uh, the file, the data which you send through your email are called attachments. So if you get some email and attachment from some unknown source, means which you don't know, that from where it has come, try to avoid it because it may have some malware. Malware means malicious software. It may be a spyware, it may be a virus, right? And at the end, pirated software. You know that in our country, there is no piracy law. Piracy means chori ke software, in simple words. Okay? Normally, the softwares which we use they are pirated software, they are stolen softwares. The software has been made by some company, some other person uh, buys that software and make a number of copies and sell them illegally in the market. We are getting those software actually. Otherwise, you see we buy a CD of 100 software uh, at the cost of rupees 30 or 40 rupees. In 40 rupees, you cannot buy even one software legally. The Microsoft Office CD you buy in rupees 40, it will cost you in thousands if you buy it from Microsoft company. So when obviously, when a person is copying a software sitting at home, through his own computer, it is quite possible that his own computer is infected by the viruses. When he copies data from his computer to CD, then virus is also copied on the CD. And when that CD is sold to some other person and he installs uh, the software through that uh, CD, then virus is copied on that computer also. So this is how pirated softwares are also a source of viruses. Now, what we can do? Protection. Uh, try to use portable storage only when you need it. Frequently use of portable storage, it may cause um, uh, a reason of coming viruses on your computer. Especially, uh, special pre precaution should be taken uh, when you use some other person's portable storage. Portable storage means USB, CD, DVD, Blu-ray, etc. Second thing is use antivirus software. Antivirus software is a software which tries to find the software, uh, the virus on the softwares you have on your computer. Or um, when you scan through antivirus software, it scans and checks all the files of your computer and check that whether your computer has, computer files have uh, viruses or not. If the virus is there that is caught and deleted. But this is also very important that you keep on updating the antivirus software. Why? The reason is because uh, antivirus software is not a magician. How it is checking all the files? Actually it has a database, a list of all different viruses names right and when it checks any file from the list it has it cross checks whether the virus is there in the file or not if any antivirus does not have any particular virus definition then that virus cannot be caught and if that virus is residing on your computer 
it cannot be detected by your antivirus software so antivirus software should be kept updating time to time after two three four days by using internet if your antivirus is not updated and it is very old remember viruses are coming they are coming all the time after every four five six days a new virus um, is developed by some person in the world so if you you have an old antivirus software obviously the new virus definition will not be there so it should be updated then next thing which you have to care it is uh, you should not go to unreliable websites you should try to use only those websites uh, which are reliable <clears throat> how would you come to know that which website is reliable and which is not when you search through google then you will so uh, you will see their uh, rating you will see their some bars it tells you that which website is used most which website has been used most of the users so by this uh, you may come to know that which website is reliable and which is not then when you are using your email you are checking your email take some precautions and don't open those emails which are coming from unknown sources right then last one is don't use pirated software i have underlined it because uh, sometimes you can say for us it is a blessing it is argumentable that whether we should use it or not because if we use uh, 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 a softwares from company we buy it from company it will cost you a lot so this is um, an argumentable but by the rule we should not use pirated software right